NanoServer is a new installation option for Windows Server 2016 that is similar to Windows Server in Server Core mode. However, although it has significantly smaller hardware footprint, it has no local signing capability and supports only 64-bit applications, tools and agents. Setup is significantly faster and after installation the operating system requires far fewer updates. In this demonstration we're going to look at the process of installing NanoServer. At this point here, what I've done on this server box is I've actually mounted the Windows Server 2016 installation media. I've created a local folder called Nano, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy across the PowerShell files required to do an installation of Nano Server. All I'm going to do at this point here is copy space d colon backslash Nano Server backslash Nano Server image generator backslash star dot ps star space c colon backslash Nano. Next thing we need to do is we just need to import the modules required to actually create our image. And to do that we're going to use our import hyphen module space c colon backslash nano backslash nano server image generator dot psm1. Now we've done that all we need to do is create our nano server image. So we'll issue the commandlet. And the command that we're going to use for that, if we just scroll this across, we're going to use a new hyphen nano server image, space hyphen edition will be standard edition, hyphen media path will be D, where I've mounted the ISO file for actually creating Windows Server 2016. Then we'll do a hyphen base path, C colon backslash nano, that's where we copied the files to, hyphen target path, and what we're going to do at this point here in C colon backslash nano, we're going to create a file called nano hyphen svr1.vhdx that we'll then create a virtual machine from. And then we'll do deployment type will be guest and then hyphen computer name will become nano hyphen svr1 and then space hyphen storage space hyphen package and we're going to create this to be an iis server so at this point here all we'll do is hit the enter key next thing we've promised me for is an administrator password and at this point here we'll just hit the enter key as we can see now, it's going to go through, it's going to copy some files, it's going to process some files, and at this point here, it's going to create my main nano server virtual hard disk. Now, this is going to take just a couple of minutes to actually process all of this and create that VHDX file. So, at this point here, we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the installation and creation of the VHDX file is complete. So, as we can see now, installation is now complete. So, all we'll do at this point here is we'll just go into our nano folder and uh, we'll just do a directory. So as we can see here, we've got our VHDX file. So this is the important bit. This is where I'll create my virtual machine from. So what I've done is I've created the virtual machine. So all we'll do is we'll just move across to the virtual machine console and have a look at the recovery console. So as you can see at this point here, very, very basic in the case of what we get. So all we'll do is we'll put in the username, password, and then what we'll do is we'll log in. So I've just put in my administrator username and password. It's so now logged me in. So what we can see from this nano server recovery console, there's not a massive amount we can do at this point here. So what we've got is we've got the computer name, got username, currently a member of a work group. We can see the operating system is 2016 standard edition. See the local date and time. What we can do at this point here is we can modify networking. So if we just hit the enter key, so at this point here, we'll just specify our adapter. And as we can see at this point here, we're using DHCP. Let's just go back a level, back another level. We can specify inbound firewall rules outbound firewall rules and we also have the windows remoting so this point here that's the end of this quick demonstration of installing nano server thank you